Hello everyone. Uh, in this class, we're going to discuss about the physical inventory. First thing we should understand, what is the meaning of physical inventory and why uh, industries have to use this physical inventory. Okay. Uh, after that, what we're going to discuss is how one can able to process this physical inventory in the SAP MM. Basically, uh, it is the business process in which physical stock is matched with the book stock. We'll go in to count the physical stock, which is available in the warehouse or the storage location. And we'll go in to match it with the book stock. Basically matching is one thing. And first thing we'll be counting the uh, inventory stocks. Okay. How much it is available and all. So it is nothing but matching up of the, or uh, uh, comparing up of the book stock with the physical stock. And it is a re legal requirement to carry out the physical inventory at least once in a year. And physical inventory can be carried out for both company use stocks. Like what are the company use stocks? We can say unrestricted quality or block stocks. And also for the special stocks like consignment stocks uh, from the vendor or else some RTP materials if they are available. So for this also we will going to do the physical inventory. And this physical inventory will come under the inventory management. If you see in the inventory management, we have four different types here. Okay. What is this inventory management? It is nothing but it is just a movement of goods. Okay. Inventory management, it will go into deals with the movement of the goods. What are the movement of goods? The movement of goods are again two types. One is like we are moving the goods from a one place to the other place. That is one movement. And another thing is we are moving the stock like it is a, a logical momentum of the movement of the stocks. Uh, how we're going to do? We're going to move from one stock type to another stock type. We have already discussed about the different stock types which are available in the SAP MM. And uh, what are the different stock types? We can just mention few here. Okay. So after this, I'll just maintain few. Okay. So stock types basically in SAP. We're going to get non-location dependent, okay, uh, independent stock, uh, dependent stock types. So they are like one thing we're going to get as a F, F, okay, that is for the unrestricted, unrestricted stock types, and uh, BB for blocked, and uh, QQ for quality, and RR for return. Like that, we're going to get the different stock types. If you want to move the stock from unrestricted use to the blocked stock, then we'll going to use certain uh, movement types and we'll going to, we can move this. Okay. That is also coming under the inventory management. Okay. That is the logical movement of the stock here. And here we will going to discuss a little thing about the inventory management, but mostly we'll be discussing about the physical inventory over here. And uh, in the inventory management, we are seeing here. Uh, first thing is the goods receipt. You already know why we will going to uh, do the goods receipt. It is the, uh, what is that? Uh, whenever you are receiving certain material from the vendor, that time we will going to create the goods receipt. Okay. Like receiving any material from the vendor, like from source to plant. Okay. So that is where we will going to do the goods receipt. And uh, next thing is the goods issue. We are issuing the goods to the production department. Uh, let us consider some production activities going on or else you are uh, issuing the goods to some project or issuing the goods to some cost center. Okay. The different movement types will come again. So here we'll going to use the goods issue means whatever it is existing with us, we are issuing it to some uh, activities. So that is what uh, goods issue is all about. Then next is the transfer posting. What is this transfer posting? So there will be different stocks like unrestricted stock, quality stock, block stock. So if you want to move a material from quality to unrestricted or unrestricted to block, then we can move them okay, through the transfer posting. The transfer posting also will going to help us while doing the STO uh, and all STO I'll be taking it in the uh, further classes. Okay. So that is the important topic again. So later on, I will going to discuss about the physical inventory. What is this physical inventory and why we require the physical inventory? First thing, physical inventory is nothing but it is the uh, comparing up of the physical stock with the book stock or the system stock. What we have uh, discussed earlier. So what is the book stock we are referring to? Okay. Book stock is nothing but a system stock. How much it is available in the system and how much uh, it is available when we are counting it physically. Okay. So we are comparing these two things. 
basically see why we need to do this because in if you are not counting any stock and if you are just leaving them as it is if some uh, stocks are uh, getting uh, what is that robbed or some stocks are getting damaged and you have sent it but you didn't noted it and you have issued certain stocks but you have noted uh, didn't noted it so if certain some human errors will be there definitely so you, through this human errors the company may go under the very big losses so that is why in at, at least once in a year we should go through the physical inventory okay that is must so this is must activity in the sap system okay in sap this is a must activity and we'll going to discuss on the entire thing about the physical inventory in this particular class so in physical inventory we'll be getting a four different types here okay one is the periodic inventory next thing is the continuous physical inventory and cycle counting is and third one and inventory sampling we're going to do what is this periodic physical inventory here all stocks of the company are physically counted on the balance sheet key date we'll going to fix particular date and we'll going to count the material on that particular date every material must be counted and uh, that particular time we will going to count each and every material entire warehouse must be blocked for material movement during the count what we'll do uh, we'll be having a two different blocks here okay uh, so whenever you want to do the physical inventory means we'll going to do those blocks one is the posting block and there is the freezing block i'll just uh, discuss about this also whenever you want to do the periodic physical inventory we will going to block the entire warehouse okay for movement of goods for movement of goods so why we need to do this okay what are these blocks first of all one is the posting block and there is the freezing block uh, first we'll going to discuss about the posting block see whenever you are doing the physical inventory that time we should not take any goods inside our warehouse that is first thing and whatever the goods are available or stocks are available we should not distribute it to anyone else so that is what it is all about the posting block means we are completely blocking the movement of the stock here the stock will not be moving anywhere and this is really really important whenever you are going through the uh, what is that uh, periodic physical inventory and one thing and that thing is there freezing block what is this freezing block you cannot able to uh, what is that issue the goods but you can receive the goods but whatever the goods you have received no you cannot able to uh, what is that count them in this particular physical inventory okay so uh, some vendors will be there they are bringing the stock on whatever the date you are uh, chosen for the physical inventory but uh, the vendor is telling no no we have to deliver these goods and i can't wait the truck for more than uh, whatever the time i have allotted so please receive this goods like that if he is um, uh, means if he is pleading us then what we can do is we can receive those goods and we can just keep keep it in somewhere else keep it somewhere else and we will not going to count them in this physical inventory okay later on once the physical inventory and everything is done then those stocks will be counted and we'll going to get those stocks also into our warehouse that is also that is what we'll going to call the freezing block okay i think you have understood the posting block as well as the freezing block these things will be carried out in all the physical inventories okay most of the time and next thing is the uh, continuous counting what is this continuous counting stocks are counted continuously during the entire fiscal year here uh, the entire year okay will be continuously counting the stocks let us consider you are having a big machineries some 22 uh, 30 machineries are there means definitely every day if you are just walking you can count them right so like that the stocks will be counted every uh, means there will be like continuous counting will be available okay and it is important because that every material is physically counted at least once during the year okay and you might be having uh, so many different materials in your organization at that particular point of time you have to count all the materials at least once in a year that is what it will going to be a continuous counting next thing we'll going to uh, see the uh, cyclic counting what is a cyclic counting uh, in this method of physical inventory counting inventory is counted at a regular interval within a fiscal year we will going to see for one let us consider we have different materials a is one material and we have b 
then we have C, then we have B. Uh, we have four different materials here. And what I'm doing for A, I'm counting on this January. Okay. And next schedule, I have done it for uh, March. Okay. After March, again, I will going to count it on June. Like that, I have the uh, different intervals for this particular material. And for B, I have some other uh, like uh, uh, cycle. Like what I am doing, January I am counting. After that, directly I am going to count on the June. Then uh, next January. Like only twice a year I am counting this B. And this material, quarterly once I will be counting. And C also you can have the different methods, something like this. Okay. Here, um, inv inventory is counted at a regular interval within a fiscal year. Okay. And these intervals depend upon the cycle counting indicator which will going to set for the material in the material master and the this will going to set at the general plant data storage one view i'll just show you okay where is the general plant data and all so there will going to set this cc indicator that is nothing but the cycle counting indicator within this cycle counting method of physical inventory will going to allow fast moving items to be counted more frequently than the slow moving items. What are fast moving items and what are slow moving items? Let us consider you are having the automobile industry and in the automobile industry, we have the cables uh, like brake cables, clutch cables and all and some uh, brake liners. They are fast moving because they are the consumables. And uh, if you are like, and even oils, okay, the uh, engine oil and uh, you are, um, uh, brake oil and all they are fast moving and if you are saying uh, a tire and um, some uh, engine engine parts so they are the slow moving items so whatever the fast moving items are there will be having a more frequently will going to count them okay and uh, next thing is the uh, inventory sampling will going to randomly select certain stock in the company and will going to do the physical inventory on them here if we found uh, there is no much difference in the counted value to the book value, then it is presumed that the book inventory balance for the other stock is also correct and will move forward. So this is how we're going to do the, uh, what is that uh, physical inventory? Uh, and these are the different types within the physical inventory. And here we'll going to, I'll just move to the SAP MM here. And what are the different T codes we're going to use for the physical inventory? We're going to see that. But first, I'll just consider uh, which stock I will just uh, go, I means take it for the uh, going for the physical inventory. Okay, what we'll do, we'll just go and uh, check our materials. MM60 is to get the list of the materials. I'll just remove this and execute. Okay, we have, uh, these are the different materials which I have created. And I'll just check with this. Okay, I'll just copy this material and go for the MMBE, okay? How much material it is available, we'll just check it. MMBE, I'll go. Um, and LT01, this, okay, I'll just remove the batch and just enter your material here, just execute. Okay, so around 350 materials are there. Okay, this uh, raw material, uh, 350 materials are there. What I will do, okay, we'll going to do the physical inventory on this particular material, okay? So the material is, five followed by some zeros two i'll just copy this material now we'll do the physical inventory how one can able to do the physical inventory there are few uh, t codes uh, which will going to come in the physical inventory i'll just mention them over here and after that we'll just quickly move to the discussion of the physical inventory okay steps in physical inventory so first step uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create the create the inventory document inventory document for this we're going to use the t code mi01 i'll just quickly uh, write all these steps and we'll discuss so these are the few uh, different steps what we're going to use in the physical inventory first we're going to create the inventory document with the mi01 and uh, we'll, uh, if you want to change the uh, inventory document then we're going to use the mi02 here also we're going to check the history of the physical inventory for those particular materials. Okay, if I'm considering this uh, one material I have chosen, no. if I want to see and what are the different times 
I have done the physical inventory for this, then we can check it over here. Okay, so to display that MI03 is the one uh, T code. And uh, uh, whenever we're going to get certain uh, uh, differences in the count now, we can enter those counts in the MI04. And if you want, like uh, after that the count, you have found that some two or three materials are flying here and there, then we are, uh, the count is changing means we can just go to the MI05 and change the count. Then we're going to see a checklist of inventory differences. Okay, whatever the inventory differences are there to check that, we're going to use the MI20. Then posting the inventory differences, we're going to use MI07 or else MI10. Uh, now we'll just go into the SAP MM. I'll go to MI01 to create the inventory document. In the inventory document, here you will be seeing document date. Okay, it is taking today's date or else you can have the planned document count date also okay like most of the time this physical inventory will be taking place on the saturdays or sundays okay because they don't want to disturb the business so that is why the uh, uh, means whenever uh, the companies are having the off that time they'll going to select that date and plant is lt01 and storage location is also lt01 here we have the information about the posting block as well as the freezing block and i have already explained about this and now I'll just do the posting block here means I'm not taking any material and I'm not issuing any material. I'm blocking the entire warehouse now and click enter. Just give this material number here. Okay. And click enter. Okay. Here it is asking for some stock type. What is the stock type? Whether I want to test the stock in the warehouse. Okay. Or else uh, some quality inspection stock is there that one I need to consider our warehouse as well as the quality inspection both I should consider or blocked stock I should consider I am saying warehouse because in warehouse I am testing in warehouse I have around 350 stocks okay I'll just give this data and I'll click enter see it is created now I'll just save this see physical inventory document uh, some 2 followed by some 07 it is created I'll if you want to change okay I'll just go to slash n mi 02 click enter here change physical inventory document initial screen okay just cl click enter if you want to change it like no no i, I don't want to just count the warehouse uh, materials i want to count the uh, quality inspection materials if you do, if you want to count both okay warehouse as well as the quality then we can choose this so these are the different stock types that that is what i uh, told you earlier so you can change it but right around i am not going to change anything and here physical inventory history is one more tab here you can see that when the physical inventory had taken place for this particular material so here not yet counted okay so the status is not yet counted because we have not counted any time the this is the first time we are counting it i'll just go back i'm not changing anything over here then <clears throat> to display this document or uh, see the whatever the inventory uh, physical inventory we have uh, created to see that we can go through the mi03 just click enter here this is just for the display you cannot change anything over here and when i'll go to the mi04 this is important when i go to the mi04 here i can uh, I, the physical inventory whatever we have created just now it will going to appear here click enter here we can enter the quantity means for this material i have found that 350 but when i counted now i found that only 340 quantities are available means 10 quantities are missing the physical invent whenever i am counting i found that only 240 quantities are available means 10 quantities are missing i don't know where where they gone okay just click enter and save this see now see what what is happening now okay i have placed whatever the count okay means physical stock physical stock is less than the system stock like that i am telling the system okay physical stock is less than the system stock like that i am telling in this case okay if the physical stock is less than the system stock we are okay one thing we need to remember is okay we are always adjusting the book stock to the physical stock means i uh, means here the physical stock is less means i need to adjust this book stock only if the physical stock is more, then also I'll going to adjust the book stock only. How we can do that? Uh, means here, if the physical stock is less than the book stock, means we have to issue certain goods. In the book, we can show certain document. We have issued 10 goods like that. Okay. For these also, we'll be having the movement types here. Okay. Like I will say this 702, you can see now. The 702 means it is goods issue. That is the 
फिजिकल स्टॉक इफ इट इज लेस देन द बुक स्टॉक देन विल गोइंग टू इश्यू द गुड्स इफ द फिजिकल स्टॉक इज मोर देन द बुक स्टॉक देन विल गोइंग टू रिसीव द विल गोइंग टू क्रिएट द गुड्स रिसीट विल गोइंग टू सी दैट ओके so i have just uh, taken this and i have created the count entered uh, document also the in the same document the count is entered now uh, next thing so we have completed until mi04 if you want to check okay so what is uh, if you want to change the count no no we have counted wrongly and i want to change the count means just go to mi05 and we can able to change the count okay now if you want to change it change it or else leave it okay i'll just say uh, I I found around uh, five materials again, and I am clicking, uh, checking uh, means uh, entering it as three forty five. You know, okay. I'll just save it, and uh, go back here. Uh, now what we'll do? We'll go into uh, check the list of inventory differences. To check the list of inventory differences, go to M I two zero, click enter. Here I have just given the material. If you want to give material, you can give it. R L plan, storage location, and this is enough because we have given the physical inventory document only. Just execute this. Here we're going to find that. See around five stocks. The difference quantity is five. Uh, amount okay. The different amount is around one sixty two point five. This one is important for us. Okay, I means amount also important anyway. But different quantity. How much it is there? Minus five. We have to do minus five now. Because we are adjusting the book stock with the physical stock. Physical stock counted is three forty five, but we have seen that book stock is around three fifty. Now we are doing the uh, whatever the difference is there. We are matching to the um, the physical stock. Okay, I'll just select this and say post difference. Okay, If this is the MI zero seven screen again. It means directly it will going to jump to the MI zero screen zero seven screen, or else we can check it over there again. You can come to the MI zero seven and we can enter. Okay, just click enter. See here we have taken. Okay, this is the material and five stocks. I am uh, removing from the system because I want to match it to the book stock. So for this, I have to provide the reason. The reason being like here, I'll say say. I have issued certain stocks through the MI zero two. Okay, damaged or issued poor, poor quality. Something I'll just maintain here. Just click enter. Account determination. Okay, so this account determination for INT, INB, GBB, INV three thousand. Okay, INV three thousand not possible. Okay, just go into the not go to the stock overview. Just take a new sheet here. Okay, I'll go to the OBYC now. In the OBYC, just find for the GBB. And click enter. This INT GBB it is there. Now we can see that what is the error. So INT GBB INV three thousand. Okay, just check whether INV three thousand is maintained here or not. Here there is no INV three thousand. Just maintain this. At the last, I'll just considering INV three thousand. And I'll just copy this only. Copy paste here as well as paste here. Click enter. Now it is. i have done the some fi activities also here just go back and uh, see what i mean so here we are uh, posting the differences just click enter now it has taken just save this data okay we have posted the differences means uh, means we are removing five quantities here see we have seen that the stock overview 350 quantities were there earlier i'll just execute now now you can see 345 if you go and click on over here right click on this and uh, select material movements just click on this and you can see five materials are missing now what is the five material see 702 movement type it has taken okay you can just see this document also you can go and check it in the mi03 uh, sorry mb03 also or else uh, you can just come here and you can check it through this particular uh, path also now we, this is the gl account which is hitting and here goods issue is happened okay and this 702 is nothing but the goods issue so that is what it is taken test now okay so how much quantity for five quantities we have done the goods issue this is what it is all about the uh, what is that um, physical inventory and we have mentioned all the movement types also and 702 is for goods issue physical stock is less than the book stock now what i will do Again, I'll going to do the physical inventory over here, and now we'll going to take physical stock should be greater than the book stock. Then we'll going to see okay how which moment will going to appear now. What I will do, I'll just go and create one more 
physical inventory mi 01 i'll take and here i'll be again doing the posting block click enter the same material will just consider and i'll just consider it for the uh, what is that uh, stock type uh warehouse stock only now it is created just save this data i have created one more document here you can see that here what i will do i'll just open the mmbe take this stock and execute see it is showing 345 now now uh, we'll do another document okay and we'll just check it okay i am just doing the okay this is done okay the physical inventory is created and if you want to change it or something okay slash n mi02 is to change okay and i'll just go here click enter if you want to change the stock type and all you can able to do it over here uh, if you don't want just ignore it mi mi04 i'll go directly slash n mi04 click enter and here now i am entering the count and i found that the stock is around 348 means three stocks are uh, more now click enter and i'll just save this data if you want to change the count you can go for the mi05 but now i'll go to directly go to mi20 <coughs> slash n mi20 in mi20 what we are doing we are uh, listing of the inventory differences okay so i'll just execute this okay you can able to see how much difference it is showing okay earlier the book stock it is saying 345 but the quantity uh, counted is 348 three materials we are gaining here i'll just uh, say post difference it will just directly move to the mi07 click enter here i'll just take a reason okay what is the reason 701 mismatch i'll just take and i'll just post this now we have created one more document you can directly go to the mb03 and we can see that or else where else we can see this see here 345 is there i'll just refresh this screen you can see that 348 means what had happened the book stock whatever the stock we have counted that is greater than the book stock okay the physical stock is greater than the book stock means we'll be doing the goods receipt because we want to uh, match the book stock to the physical stock so this is what the sentence i have given here this is really important we are always adjusting the book stock to the physical stock okay not in the reverse way so for that uh, we'll be doing the goods receipt and 701 702 will be using for the goods uh, uh, unrestricted stocks 703 and 704 for quality stocks and 707 and 708 for the block stock if you are moving these stocks then we these things will going to come automatically now i'll just jump into the sap and i'll show you what is the movement type it has taken now okay i'll just go for the material movement here you can see 703 and 701 movement type has taken if you go to this document you can see this okay 701 movement type has taken here for these three materials so this is what it is all about the physical inventory thank you guys for watching my video